guys it's brandon 302 and today guys we are back with another video so in today's video um i am going to be showing you how to make an npc attack you um so i've been getting many requests on how to do this so in my last video i showed you well one of my last videos um i showed how to make an npc wave um so I'm going to show you how to make an NPC actually attack you. Um, so I'm just letting you know before this video actually starts. Um, for some reason, the um, zombies or whatever you want to use for it, the, the NPCs that are going to attack you, um, for some reason they do attack each other if they get too close to each other. Like say if one stands in front of another um, and they're both chasing you, the one behind will probably kill them, so, um, yeah. So first, what you would want to do is, this, uh, this actually isn't my own script, um, but I'm gonna show you how to, like, use it on different characters. So let's say, oh yeah, um, and I'm going to leave the model in the description for you guys to use. So let's go in Toolbox here, and as you can see, the Toolbox has opened up. So if you scroll down a little bit, as you can see, there's the Drooling Zombie right there. See? Um, so we are going to be using the scripts from this. So I'm going to be showing you what scripts to actually take from it. Um, remember, I'm not taking for any, <laughs> not taking any credit for this or anything. This is not my script. Um, but first, what you would want to do, so, if we go into the game, uh, the zombie works perfectly, see? So, the zombie chases you around, if you get hit by it, it damages you, as you can see. Um, later on, you can change the health. See, it just killed me. So, what we want to do, so first you would want to get your character in, or make a character, um, this has to be for the script I'm using, like for the script we're using for this. Um, we're gonna have to make it R6. So let me spawn my character in. So there we go, now I got my R6 character. So let me just use the plugin to bring that down. Just like that. And then. What we will have to do next is you would want to click on here, go into here. As you can see, you don't have to care about these. Um, you can actually take the sound here uh, because of this. So yeah, um, anyways. So first what we want to do is we would want to just copy this animate script. See, so this is all the animations. You don't have to have the animations, but... I would, like, really recommend it if you want it to jump over objects and stuff. So then, first, just paste it into there. Boom. Easy peasy. Then you would want to take this script. So this is the zombie script. As you can see, this is all here, but that's later. So, again, copy the script. Paste it into your character. And also, you want to copy these three, the module scripts, the configurations, and the animations. So, copy. And boom. Oh, whoops, what the... Okay, I don't know what, what just happened there, but okay. Let me try again. So, then copy into there. Okay, I don't know why it's creating another one of me, but that's weird. Okay, so, as you can see, so we can actually get rid of this drooling zombie now. So as you can see, I got my character here, so if we go in into game, uh, as you can see, it perfectly works. Now, um, you can change the animations, like you see how I'm walking like a zombie right now. Um, so that's in configurations and animation so how I was walking like a zombie is the arms you can make your own animations an animation editor thingy set in plugins or something 
I, I don't know, I've never actually made animations, but, um, let's just get rid of that, and, uh, yeah, we'll just keep attack on, the uh, attack animation, so, right here is the damage it will do to you, so let's make that, let's do 10, so every time it hits me, it takes away 10 health, um, don't touch debug, uh, field of view is how far away it sees you, so you can change that to whatever you want, like say if I put that, say if I put the character, if I can grab him, um, say if I can put him over here, like right over there, and let's spawn in. See, he doesn't see me, but now he sees me because I just went into his line of view. Um, so I'm gonna try to get away. So see, damn, this is far. Okay, well, um, that's really how you make it. But some people might be wondering. You guys might be wondering um, how. How am I supposed to change the speed and stuff of this? Um, all you would do is... Okay, all you would do is, I think, you would just go in here. And if you want to change the walk speed, you just gotta go in Humanoid. And walk speed, so if I change it to 100, um, it will walk very fast. And also, you can change the jump power as well. So... Yeah, it kind of glitches out the character, but you can see it still runs faster. I don't know, I would say keep it around under 50, 50 and under. Um, but that's how you make an NPC attack you. Um, so, pretty simple tutorial. Again, not my script. Um, and, yeah, uh, thank you. Thank you all for watching.